Summer is officially here. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. We went to Walmart, Sam's Club per usual. I did a Rouse's run-in and I also got a Thrive Market box delivered that was here in like less than two days. It was absolutely insane for some essentials that we need for summer. I've got my glasses on because today of starting summer was a 4 a.m. leg day workout. So your girl's looking tired, but let me take you down to the counter and show you what we got to set us up up for success and to keep the boys satisfied first week of summer. We ran into Rouse's real quick, $19.33. It's always like $20 more when you run in my local Rouse's. I went in for strawberries. I didn't show you guys last week, they had a killer deal for one pound strawberries, four for $5. So you know I stocked up on the four, but I thought it was like a week to week sale and usually Wednesdays today is when it cuts off, but it was like a flash two day or three day sale. So we missed it. So that's all right. But I got some other things that were cheaper at Rouse's, honestly, than at Walmart when I had it in my app and for the pickup. So of course, every time I run in there, they don't sell this anywhere, but my local Rouse is the Chobani Zero Sugar and the Vanilla. Love this for yogurt bowl, so that's a must, even though it's hella pricey. The Silk Creamy Cashew Milk was cheap at Walmart. It's went up, but it was only $2.99 at Rouse's. It's almost $3.50 at Walmart. So I took that out my cart and put that one in there. This is on sale at Rouse's for $3.77. It's $3.98 at Walmart, so shaving a little pennies there. That's for the boys and for recipes. And then this was an impulse buy. I am loving the cheese it Snapped and those Sam's Club-like little snack packs for 100 calories. It comes in the sour cream and the cheddar they're both bomb but y'all they had these flavors and i love anything barbecue flavored this is a our newest flavor it says barbecue snap cheese it snaps yes please now if you're weighing them out you can do the 100 calories like the packs but this is saying 30 grams is 150 calories so you can just weigh it out by the gram and make it 100 calories if you want for the side of a sandwich or whatever and that's what i plan on doing so excited to try that. And then this just looked good too, the jalapeno jack one. And then I think they had one other flavor, but I was like, let's just get these two because they were kind of pricey for what they are and try them out. I'll let you guys know in vlogs, so stay tuned. So that's everything we got real quick. Went in for strawberries, came out with other things. $42 small Sam's drive up and $104 Walmart grocery pickup with some things that were delivered today when picking up. They're so good with that. And also I ran into Target real quick for the drive up. They don't sell these at my Walmart or anywhere else but Target. This is a Simply Potatoes shredded hash browns and they are 70 calories for 85 grams, zero fat, 15 carbs, two protein, minimal ingredients. Elise is calling for her new breakfast casserole. I'm going to be making that for breakfast prep all next week. So I wanted to have that. I'm actually going to go put it in the fridge right now because they've been in the car for a while. I'm really disappointed with, I'm, I'm highly, highly happy with most of the things that I get. And y'all know here lately, we've had a couple of little misses, nothing detrimental, but look at my flat pita breads. Like they're all crumbly and like, oh my gosh, they look in a hot mess. Y'all let me know if you think I should do a return on these. I mean, I mean, we can make it work. We're doing some tuna melts by Elise Ellis, and I thought they'd be really good on this Joseph's pita bread. I love these. Y'all have seen these in the past. One is 60 calories, one and a half fat, nine carbs, and six grams of protein. They are really good, especially if you put them in the air fryer. They crisp up, so that's my plan to melt the cheese on the tuna. Mm, it's going to be delicious. We got some Cosmic Crisp apples. Y'all haven't seen me haul apples in forever because I've still been going through all those ones I got on such a killer deal from the salvage store. I'm down to like two, but man... Um, speaking of like doing good on things, these freaking apples are like on steroids. Are you seeing these Cosmic Crisp? They are huge. Like usually the small ones are almost like 180 grams, which is 100 calories when you weigh it up. This is like two of those. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to put some lemon juice or something on them to keep them because I can't eat like I could. But you know what I'm saying? Like, dang, those are huge. We got some strawberries. I mentioned I wanted to get them on a killer deal, but they are on a good deal at Walmart versus Sam's. They are definitely cheaper. And these look beautiful. And I'm I'm eating like 200 grams of at a time, multiple times a day. I love strawberries, especially for right now when it's hot as hell outside. But they're my favorite fruit too. And we're just getting them. Y'all, for once, the spinach came in clutch it's looking good today it's not looking sad may 24th today is the 18th no 19th so we are good but it looks good so bam we've had some bad luck with the spinach but it's looking good today got some bananas i didn't go crazy because we have a few on ham these are pretty small and green so that works 
green onions and again they always look kind of puny but i chop them up right away and that makes them last versus just putting them in the fridge they will definitely look puny and really sad got some celery for that tuna recipe i got some red onions for a recipe i have zero regular onions so the bag always comes in clutch and lasts us a good while since y'all see me haul this it's like less than three dollars for the bag Substitution, I've been making that Felicia taco meat and I wanna make it again because we went through it and it's freaking delicious. It's something I'm going to make quite often because it's so easy and so freaking tasty. Highly recommend, watch the vlogs, I tell you what I did. But I put the three pack of romaine in there and they were out so they subbed me for three of the individual heads which is much more. So that was a win and we'll definitely use it. The boys are next level obsessed. Every week I'm hauling these like gold nugget mandarins. They are like very substantial mandarins. The boys are loving it. So I just keep on getting it. Baby Bella mushrooms for that breakfast casserole she's calling for. The boys are going to be home for school next week. The tomorrow is the last day of school and I'm filming this on Thursday. The 20th is their last day. So I'm trying to stock up on things. I know that they eat for like breakfast, lunch, and I always pack for their lunch boxes, but they'll probably eat more because they're home, you know what I mean? And they're gonna be more active outside playing. Two cans of these 10 count biscuits. These are only 50 cents a piece. They love this with some type of protein on the side. Got a bunch of cheeses. The string cheeses at Sam's have been sold out for weeks and Waylon's going through two of these a week by himself. No one else is eating them but Waylon. Oh my gosh, he is next level addicted. Two of the light string cheeses. These are 50 calories, two and a half fat, six grams of protein. A good snack when you are cutting for sure and for your kiddos. Got two bags of the reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese for recipes this week. I've been buying this a lot. I like it guys because it is, it tastes like real cheese. There's no artificial taste. I do like the fat free cheese, but I like to switch back and forth. This one's 80 calories for 28 grams, five fat, one carb, seven protein. Also going to mix in some Velveeta shreds, the cheddar one. Finally got the cheddar one. I like the cheddar I feel versus the original. I feel like it tastes more like the real deal, you know what I mean? So we got that, happy to get it. We got some frozen fruit, cause Trey's almost out, he loves this. The mixed fruit, pineapple, strawberries, peaches, mango, and then sliced peaches is what was available and on the cheap, so that's the route we went. Got a bunch of yogurt, cause besides string cheeses, I pump fruit and Greek yogurt in them as much as possible versus like an Oreo or chips or something. So we got two of the light Greek yogurts, one in the strawberry, one in the peach, and then four of the banana cream pie is Waylon's favorite, but Trey just tried this one and he does not like bananas. He likes all fruit except for bananas, I know, but he freaking woofed this one down. I was like, dang, he likes the banana cream one. So we'll see how he does with these two. And if so, we might just go that route because they both are obsessed. They still don't have the Go-Gurts at Sam's. Like Sam's is slacking lately. I don't know what's going on, but I got two of the low fat yogurt tubes. You get the blueberry and strawberry and it's the same price as the name brand over at Sam's. So that's, I guess, a win. And then we got three bags of broccoli florets for sides this week. I'm gonna be making the Trader Joe's orange mandarin chicken. We have two bags I hauled way back when. I'm trying to go through things that have been in the freezer for a while. And the reason why we haven't gone through it, it's next level delicious, but it's a lot higher in calorie and fat and not so much macro friendly, you know what I mean? But we're gonna pair some lower calorie sides with the broccoli. The boys went ape over these vanilla chocolate swirl M&M fun cups, y'all. Oh my gosh, I haven't even had one yet. There's only like three left in the freezer. I do plan on having one uh, on the meal plan. I'm like, if they'll let me have one. 120 calories is all it is for a cup. And let me tell you, the chocolate swirl is in there. Like Waylon, my hubby, and Trey both are like obsessed. They put a decent amount of M&Ms on it. So it, they are small cups for 120 calories, but it's just enough to get your fix. So if you were in a deficit is what I'm trying to say, or a calorie deficit, you're cutting. This is a good option for you to not feel deprived. Still get that sweet treat, but stay within your macros. 120 calories, five fat, 17 carbs, and two grams of protein. So they had to have those. They are loving them. They have the ice cream sandwiches too. Y'all let me know if you've tried those M&M like 4th of July looking ice cream sandwiches because the reviews are kind of mixed. Let me know because they're pretty low in calorie too. The ice cream away before it melts down. Two packages of the McCormick chicken gravy. We're gonna be making some anabolic, lower calorie, high protein KFC chicken bowls. I mentioned I was gonna make those before, but we never did. So we are definitely making them and I'm excited and I needed some chicken gravy and this is the route we're going because I need it for multiple dishes, not just the KFC bowls. I'm completely out of Worcestershire sauce. So I got the Liam Perrins is the one I like and watch it guys because some of them are higher calorie than other and cruddy ingredients like corn syrup. This one does not have that. So I'll pay the higher price not to have 
some ingredients when possible. Five calories for a teaspoon and it's delicious. I've been making a lot of like Philly cheesesteak stuff and of course that's like one of the main things. Diced green chilies for a recipe. Two cans of the organic no salt added sweet peas. I like these because they are lower calorie than the other one and lower sodium. So it's only 15 milligrams of sodium, which is awesome. You can add your Redmond's Real Salt and your Kinders and get your sodium that way. 50 calories for 125 grams. And I usually eat like 200 grams, y'all. And it's like a million, it's like almost a whole can of peas. Like low calorie, high volume right there. I love these sliced dill pickles. They are so freaking good. Love them on sandwiches, love them on the side. And I'm almost out, so I picked up that one. This was one of the things that was shipped. They didn't have any tuna in the store. Like what's going on? But they shipped it, so that works. And I need exactly four cans for the tuna melts. And these are 100 calories for one can drained, one fat, zero carb and 22 whopping grams of protein so that is going to be a low calorie lunch option but super high in protein you'll ask all the time like how to get protein in and there's a lot of easy sources you see in these grocery hauls that I always get every week that definitely helps my protein game I am finally out of the Orville Redenbacher mini bags I'm down to like one bag I think I'm having it today and I love these they're 100 calories for an entire bag they're so good. You can add your kinders. Y'all are telling me you're doing with these and you're obsessed. So I cannot wait to try that. The ingredients are minimal. It's not like a ton of ingredients, guys. They do make one with avocado oil. My store has been out for like ever, like six months, and it is a little bit better ingredients, but I like this one a lot. They also make a kettle corn one if you like a sweet version. I have caramel rice cakes on hand, but I'm flying through them like pre-workout, post-workout for dessert. I just, these come in clutch and this caramel one's hands down my favorite flavor. It's 50 calories for each rice cake. So got that just in case, since we are not gonna be going to the gym every single day, I won't have the option of going into town because we're gonna be doing at-home workouts. So I wanted to stock up on things that I know I always use, even if I don't necessarily need it, so I don't have to make a trip, if that makes sense. The other thing that was shipped was the Dr. Pepper Cream Soda Zeros. They did not have any in store, but I had a shipping option. So I was like, yes, please. Let's Let's go. I have none and this is my favorite. I know we hauled the dark berry one, but it's just not my jam. Like as I was drinking it more and more, it tastes like cough syrup to me. Y'all let me know if you like that one or if you're getting that vibe as well. This is hands down number one and then the cherry zero is number two. They're the goats for me. Absolutely love them. A must. And a must for the boys are the clear water enhancers and the grape strawberry watermelon. Y'all asked me last week if I like the Mio. We've never bought the Mio. I've always bought either the stir or this clear one just because I try I mean there's things that sneak in there but I try not to add those like dyes and stuff on a regular to everything for the kids if I can avoid it but some things you know it's there but if I can avoid it we do so that's why I get the clear ones and they're cheaper so that's everything we got at Wally World and then for a little quick drive up for Sam's I hauled this what was it last week or the week before guys y'all need this run don't don't sit on your booty, get in the car right now, do a drive up and go to Sam's and get this hickory molasses before you can't find it. It is fire. Y'all know I like the, what is it? The garlic Parmesan one and I like the buttery steakhouse one. This one is next level. It is so freaking good and it's on like an instant savings. So I got it back up because I'm afraid I won't be able to find it. And I, I really like that one a lot. I tried some blackberries and they're the organic ones for the price. So that's a win. They look really good too. He loves fresh fruit of all kinds, but blackberries, this is jam. Haven't hauled Canadian bacon in a while. They didn't have any at Walmart. This was the option they had at Sam's Club, which was pretty good. So for three slices, it's 60 calories, one fat, two carb, and 10 grams of protein for three slices. For that breakfast casserole and for some ham and cheese breakfast enchiladas I'm making on Taco Tuesday, um, we need a lot of Canadian bacon. I have a little bit on hand in the freezer that I bought way back when, but not enough. So that's going to come in clutch. Egg whites are still million dollar, but y'all know this is one of my main protein sources and I eat this every single day, multiple times, sometimes a day. Have to have it, pay the man, I guess. The Yukon Gold mashed potatoes, we have one on hand, but I don't feel like that's gonna be enough because I have it on the side multiple meals this upcoming week and we love this one so much. So it is fully cooked. You get two containers in here and for 124 grams is 120 calories, six fat, 18 carbs and five grams of protein, minimal good ingredients and so easy and a delicious side guys, highly recommend. So that's everything we got from Sam's Club this week and Wally World. One thing that was out of stock for my pickup was the 100 calorie Thomas English muffins. Been loving these for the breakfast, high protein anabolic sandwiches and just to put some sugar-free jam on them, loving that. 
needed some paper plates, forgot to put them in my order. And then I am out of coffee, flavored coffee anyway, I have plain, but I've been loving the community Mardi Gras one and the Starbucks caramel, but I'm out. And these are some flavors. I have not seen the toasted marshmallow one before. That one looks new and delicious. Toasty golden marshmallow flavor. And then they always have the golden caramel. And I can't remember if I've tried it. Rich buttery flavor with a satiny smooth finish. Let's go. Y'all know I brew my coffee in a big pot and put it in a big like carafe thing for cold brew and loving it. It's cost effective too. And you get some of the specialty flavors you don't always get with the K-Cup. So eager to try those out with the PE Science Protein Powder. Cashew milk combo has been fire. What you doing, Z Dog? You gonna show them the Thrive Box? Huh? So we got our Thrive Market Box in like I told you guys. And I legit ordered this the day before yesterday and it's already here. So let me unbox it show you what we got so we got a lot of snacky stuff and things that we use on a daily basis the boys last day of school was today so i want to make sure that i had some things on hand i cannot believe how quick this box arrived again day before yesterday and it's already at my doorstep i have a link down below that gets you some crazy discount and they always do free gifts speaking of this was one of the free they have plenty of options now if they're not doing like a daily free gift they always do this thing where you can choose like out of 20 free gifts and this is the one i threw in my cart the thrive market chocolate chips this is like comparable to your lilies, but something about the lilies here lately has been upsetting my stomach. I don't know if it's, I need to check the ingredients, but this one looks like it's got less ingredients than the lilies, but this one's 50 calories for a serving. I think the lilies may be a little bit more. Don't quote me on that, but I'm going to try these and see if they affect me like the lilies, but I'm going to have to stop doing the lilies or something about it. That's like not agreeing with your girl. I love this a dozen cousins classic refried pinto beans. These were so flavorful and so good. Highly recommend. In. You have to buy them by like threes. A lot of things with Thrive Market, you have to buy in quantities versus just singly. But there's 80 calories and a half a cup, two fat, 17 carbs, eight fiber, and five grams of protein. And look at those ingredients. Yes, please. And they're delicious. You don't have to add anything to them. You microwave them in the bag. I'm all about that life. 60 seconds and eat them straight up. Super good. Y'all have got to try them. Always throw a Chosen Foods avocado spray in my cart just to have on backup. We need a backup. Speaking of chicken broth by Kettle and Fire and also beef broth, I went ahead and got a few of those because as I use them, I like to replenish them and always have them in the pantry. The Rise Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. This is pricey, but I'm going to be doing a lot of early morning workouts because the boys are here 24-7 now, and that's not going to do me. But just in case I need something in a pinch, love this stuff so, so much. Highly recommend that too, even though it is expensive. This is something else I recommend, the Strive Beef Biltong. It's really good. I got the two original grass-fed. It is 16 grams of protein, 90 calories, two fat, and zero carbs. But for the entire bag... It's 175 calories and 32 whopping grams of protein. Pretty sure that the hickory season is the same macros. And I'll eat a whole bag of this to like up my protein game for less than 200 calories. Yes, please. Y'all ask about that all the time. How to up protein. This is a low fat, low calorie, high protein source. Really, really good. They sell these in my local grocery store as well if you don't want to do them from Thrive. Love getting a lot of spices from Thrive too when I'm making orders. And I just keep my big container that I bought from Costco like two years ago and I just refill it with this. So I got three of the Thrive ground cinnamon, the organic one. This is, I don't know, 2.24 ounces. So you get a lot in there and I fly through cinnamon and I'm almost out and that is a no-go for me. Got Waylon some of his Brainiac brain squeezers, the applesauce pouches. You get apple strawberry, apple cinnamon, and mega apple. He likes these a lot and I feel like they're a little bit better ingredients than the name brand one. So that's the one we got for 10. Probably should have got more because he's home now, but we'll see. he hasn't been eating these as much as lately. So that should tide him over. Love these because they're just 50 calories. You get eight bags in here, two fat, seven total carbs and one protein, really clean ingredients. But I got the bags because I'm gonna take these maybe to baseball games. Waylon is playing baseball all summer up until August. It's gonna be hot, but I'm also gonna need snacks for me and Trey. So this is just something easy to grab and go, put in my bag, whatever. Got two of the pretzel crisp and the honey mustard and onion. This one's next level. I love this one. Might be my favorite. I don't know. I like that Parmesan one. I haven't had that one yet in a long time. But it's 110 calories for 28 grams. One and a half fat, 23 carbs, and two grams of protein. Love it. I can't find this particular flavor in any local stores. 
So that was a no-brainer to put increments of two. I think you have to do with the pretzel crisp. We flew through all of the Siete chips that I hauled from Thrive like before Easter time. They are gone. The boys do Taco Tuesday for lunch, which is chips and cheese and whatever else for the sides. And I got three of the late July organic sea salt thin and crispy tortilla chips. I like the late July brand. I feel like it's very comparable to Siete. Not as squeaky clean, but pretty damn close and a lot cheaper, might I add. 130 calories for 10 chips, seven fats, 17 carbs, and two protein. There's your ingredients right there if you're interested, but I got that to tide them over for a good while. And then also since we are home, I'm not gonna give them any like portion bags or buy anymore right now. I'm just gonna buy the big bags since they are here and they're not packing lunch boxes. So they had the no cheese cheesiness. I love this one a lot, really good if you're looking for a cheese flavor but you don't can't have the cheese. It is gluten-free, vegan, all the things for my peeps interested in that. And then I love just the plain, just like the bags, the Himalayan pink salt, super good. And the macros and ingredients on these are like super clean and delicious. So got two bags of that. Trey eats a lot of popcorn as well. So that's not just for me. So that's our little Thrive Market order, snacks, summer stuff protein. So that's going to do it for this week's grocery haul. I am already seeing that what I bought for the first week of summer is just not going to cut it for the boys. They are eating me out of house and home and I need to definitely prepare for next week going forward into the summer. If you enjoyed these weekly grocery hauls, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much and I appreciate it so much when you do so. If you are new, I love to have you a part of the family. Click all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every time I I upload a new grocery haul here. I already have things in my cart, guys. I'm already trying to think of easy things for baseball. I've got something else new that I'm going to be telling you guys and the vlogs and stuff. So my schedule for summer is absolutely insane. So I'm trying to set myself up for success and keep everybody in the house satisfied. I hope y'all have an awesome day. Thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see you in next week's grocery haul. Bye y'all.